Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to lesson two from chapter three on page 185, Estimate Products. Now, what we mean by estimating products is we're going to make an estimate, as many of you already know how to do, kind of like a, an educated guess, of a product, numbers that are multiplied, okay? Here's the real-world link connection. The record for the greatest distance traveled on a skateboard is 24 hours. In 24 hours was set in a recent year by James Peters. He traveled 7.6 miles per hour, okay? Plot 7.6 on the number line. What they'd like to show you is why, how 7.6 is closer to 8 than it is to 7. So if we wanted to round to the nearest whole number, we would round up to 8. If we were going to plot it, boys and girls, we would plot it right about around here, right there, right? That would be where we would plot it. So if we have 7.6 right there, it's closer to the 8 than, it, than the 7, right? It's over 5. And this is when whenever we have a 7.5, we round up to 8 because anything from here and higher is closer to 8. And anything from 7.0 to 7.4 is closer to 7 at that point. So this is why we round up. Let's see the next question. What whole number is 7.6 closest to? Uh, you know, it's closest to 8. So now we know how many he traveled per hour. He traveled 7.6 miles per hour. And if we wanted to round that miles, we would round it up to 8. But keep in mind, boys and girls, that's giving him more than he actually did. That's giving him 2 fifth, 0.4. Okay, of a mile more, if we say that he traveled 8. Estimate how many miles James Peters traveled in 24 hours. We're going to now make an estimate. So if we, to make an estimate, make it into a friendly number, just like we did here. We had 7.6, we make it into 8. 8 is easy to multiply into 24, right? It's easier than 7.6. And we go ahead and we do, we do this estimate of 8 times 24, a, and we can do this mentally, 8 times 4 is 32, carry the 3 over, 8 times 2 is 16 plus 3 is 19, so 19 or 192. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. That, that This is only an estimate, and so right here, this is a bit of an error right there. It should really be this symbol to say about, right? So why don't we go ahead and use this symbol as our key answer. Let's look at number four. Is your estimate higher or lower than the actual distance he traveled? Well, boys and girls, we took 7.6 and we rounded that up to 8. So because we gave it more, we gave, remember, we, we, we increased it um, by, by, by 2 fifths. We increased that amount, right, by, by decimal 4. Obviously, we're going to get a higher number because we rounded this up, right? So will it be higher or lower? Well, it'll definitely be higher because we round it up and to multiply by 24. If you multiply 7.6 times 24, it's going to be lower than 8. Now, okay, let's explain that. As we said, we rounded uh, 7.6 up to 8, so the actual answer would be less than 192 because we would be multiplying 7.6 times 24 rather than 8. Okay? Number 5. A new record was set later by Tad McDonald. He traveled about 10.1 miles per hour for 24 hours. About how much farther did Ted McDonald travel? Now we're looking for a difference, but they want to know so much further. Now, look at this, 10.1 miles. This would be very easy to round down to 10, right? But we're, we have to realize that because we're rounding down, our answer is going to be less than the real answer. Our estimate is going to be less. I hope that makes sense. So, I'm just going to go right ahead and write 10 right here. 10 times 24, well, that's pretty easy. It's 10 of those, it's 24 of those 10s, so it's 240. Now, when we look for the difference, because they're saying about how much farther, when we're looking for the difference, you need to take the higher value, so our 240, and subtract the lower value from it, which is 192, right? And we get our difference of 48, right? We get a, sorry, let me erase that 8. It's not very pretty. We get our difference of 48. That's a little better. We get 40 from here plus another 8 from here. Do you see that? When we go down to 200, we go down by 40, and then we have to go down another 8 to get to 92. And there we have it. 
So Ted McDonald traveled about how many miles further? 48 miles further. And this is your therefore statement right here. As a key answer, let's put three little dots there as our therefore. So but we can't have therefore so, that's repetitive, and put an X over the so. Therefore, Ted McDonald traveled about 48 miles further or farther. Okay, now just to make a note of what we just did, uh, we estimated, but to estimate products of decimals, round each number. We want to round it to a whole number. First, underline the digit to be rounded. We want to round, for example, a whole number. Let's say we had 7.6, we rounded that to 8, so you would underline the 7. Then look at the digit to the right of the place being rounded. If the digit is 4 or less, the underlined digit remains the same. Okay, so if it's 7.4, we underline the 7 because that's the number we're um, rounding. If it's 4 or less, as you can see here, 4 or less, we just round it to 7. But if the digit is 5 or greater, add 1 to the underlined digit. But if it's, let's say, 7.6 or even 7.5, okay, this is obviously greater than 5, so it's going to change. It's going to become another whole so, like it says right here, we add 1 to the underlined digit. After rounding, all place values to the right of the underlined digit have a value of 0. So, value of 0, value of 0. After the numbers are rounded, multiply. Then you can just simply multiply. So, it's just mental note to make. Okay, here we have an example where we have the number 42.6 times 39.7 they want us to estimate right now um, we could round the way they just explained to us where 42 decimal 6 because it's about 5 the 5 we can just round up so 42 decimal 6 would become you could say 43 right and 37.2 because it's less than 4 could become 37 right but there's actually a better way to do this Look at this. If I were to take this 3 and put it on this side, we could make it much easier. I could round this number to 40 and this number to 40. I went down and this number by 3 and I compensated with this number by adding the 3 to that number. So instead of being 43 times 37, now it's just a nice easy 40 times 40. So I would round this to the largest most comfortable number I can find and I went down on this one and up on this one so that my estimate is not too far. If I went up here to let's say 45 and up here to 40 my estimate is going to be too high because I went up on both of them. I hope that makes sense. I went down and I went up so that my estimate doesn't get doesn't go too far. This makes it a little closer. So now I have 40 times 40 equals 4 times 4 is 16. I put my 16 there and then my two zeros that I have. This zero and this zero. Okay? So what we did was we round to the greatest place value which is 40. Okay? And the product is about, we already wrote it on there, 1600. Right? Okay now let's estimate each product. 9 decimal 6 times 1.8 um, if we follow the rules that we just learned, this is above 5, and this is also above 5, so they both have to get rounded up. When you round both numbers up in the same direction or both down, it makes the estimate a little bit more off, but it's still pretty close. We can round this up to 10 times 2. And there you have it. A would be 20, right? B, um, this is less than 4 right here, right? It's less than 4, so four, or less than 5, 4 or less. So that could just say at 4 times 3 equals 12. And now here we have 68 decimal 4 times 21 decimal 3. We could do a much, because now we're getting into bigger numbers, we can do a much friendlier estimate. I could go up here and down here. If I go up with this one, I will have, I will round to a nice even 70. If I go down with this one, I will round to a nice easy 20, right? So now I have 7 times 2 is 14, right? And then my zeros, don't forget to include your zeros, 
So it's 1,400. And there you have it. Let's uh, add, what could I draw today? Yeah, you can go ahead and draw a nice bright sun right there. You can add sunglasses to yours if you'd like. Okay, next page. Sometimes when we estimate, we break the rules that we just came up with. Now, it's typically good to have those rules, but those rules that we said when it's above five, decimal five, right? It's good when we only have a unit, when we have a small number. But once we start to get into the tens, it's better to look for a greater um, friendlier number. So here we're going to break the rule of 39.3. Typically, you would want to round down to 39, right? Because this is less than five. But let's break that rule. And let's just make this a nice, easy number to work with. Let's make it 40. And this one, we can continue to follow the rule because we only have to change the number in the ones place. So it's five or greater. So we change it to seven. So we go from 39.3 to 40 and 6.5 to seven. And seven times four is 28. Add the zero in and it's 280. Okay? Suppose one US dollar is equal to 5.8 Egyptian pounds. About how many Egyptian pounds would you receive for $48.50? So each Egyptian, each dollar, right? Each dollar will give you 8.8 Egyptian pounds. So this needs to be multiplied by this amount. But they want to know about how many, okay? About how many, so we can round. How would you round this and how would you round this? I would round the 5.8 to 6. And here we have a number with two digits, okay? We could round this to just 49, but why not make it nice and easy and round it up to 50, right? So that it's easy to multiply 6 times 50. When we multiply 6 times 50, here let me write in the numbers, 50 and 6, okay? We're going to get 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 0, 300, okay? So, 48... 50 US dollars is equal to about 300 Egyptian pounds. Now, is this more or less? What do you think? Is this more or less than what the real answer should be? If you said more, you are correct. It is more because we rounded this amount up and we rounded this amount up. We made them both greater than what they really are. If you were to multiply these two numbers together, you'll find that it's less than 300. So use this right here as your key answer. It is more.